Hey guys, just want to give you a quick uh, view here of why I think that the Help Pants Panner is the easiest way for me to prepare for my boards. Okay, once again, we see the, the main page here. I like the fact that I'm able to choose from the start what I want to do, just presentations, the review charts, which are really good, or if I just want to do testing. Uh, but I'm going to start with the presentations and show you the, one of the ways that I think is the best way to prepare. Uh, I like the design learning tracks to start first. The interactive learning modules are great. gives you a lot of like a reference. You can hit any subject you want when you need. But let's start with the design learning tracks. And uh, the cool thing about this program that I think is really great is that you can choose whatever you want. So if I just want to study cardiology or endo today, or if I know I'm weak in a subject or I'm strong in a subject and I don't need to study it, I can study another. Just pick whatever I want. That's true of everything, and that's really cool because we're all different students or we're different PAs. So if I just want to study pulmonary today, I can just click pulmonary and get into that. And then this is really great, too, because as you guys know, there's a lot to know in this blueprint and they broke it all down. So it's broken down into these little like manageable sections. So it's really easy to deal with just childhood respiratory as opposed to having to deal with, oh my gosh, all of pulmonology. It helps you focus what you're studying, but also it means that you could just study for 15 minutes if that's all you got, uh, as opposed to spending a whole day, or you can put them together. So you open it up and you notice the video tutor pops up right away. I definitely like this too about the design learning track is the fact that the video tutor uh, is separate. So if I just wanna watch the movie, I can. Uh, but if I do the entire design learning track, um, you can just make it full screen real quick. The first thing that you get to is um, this pretest. So this is really good. You know, kind of see where I am with this subject. Again, I'm focusing in on just this one small part of the blueprint, so I don't have to worry, you know, about being very overwhelmed. I've got this one little section, and hey, you know, how am I? Am I? Do I know what's going on with childhood respiratory? Do I not? And so I love doing the pretest, just kind of getting myself there. From there, uh, you know, go to the video tutor. Uh, video tutor is great. Uh, just gives you a quick little uh, movie with somebody going through each each one of the sections with all the key points that you need to know. Uh, so I'm just going to play that for a second so we can just listen to you know what that might sound like. All right, this point part one of the uh, pulmonary DLT covering childhood respiratory illness. Acute bronchiolitis. This happens in uh, kids that are about one to two years old. Um, they're going to have a viral respiratory infection and they'll have some wheezing. So the first episode of wheezing in a child, usually about one to two years old, is usually due to RSV infection and it causes the acute bronchiolitis. Um, happens in the fall to winter months. Um, the uh, RSV is primarily spread by infectious droplets. Um, it's the most common cause of respiratory tract infection in children that are less than one years of age. Look for the wheezing as being the clue. It doesn't mean they have asthma. Usually it's RSV if it's the first time. Um, diagnosis of RSV is um, diagnosed by uh, respiratory secretions and it is uh, the most common cause of viral pneumonia in children. Um, it's uh, diagnosed clinically. So that gives you a quick idea of what the movies are like. You know, they're going through everything you need to know. You've got those little windows on the side giving you the extra information. You know, those main points in the bottom and the yellow really, you know, clue in what you need. Uh, once you're done with that, uh, then you can move to the interactive learning module. This is great because it allows you to study. So I like to go in here and just, you know, get what I needed. I listen to the video to the expert. Well, now I can just kind of go in and see what I need um, based on, you know, what I think. So first of all, I can just choose whatever I want. Let's say I want to go further than just childhood respiratory. I just want to know about pertussis today. I can just click on that, and I'm right here. And then if you click, you can see the clouds. They give you all the information that you need that's extra. These are the main points. Um, you know, I can go back to what I just viewed, hit anything I want. So this, again, allows me to just review the stuff the way I need to review it for today. And uh, a great quick reference um, for, I know, friends who are students that are on rotations, you know, go look at it really quick. Then you go to the section synopsis. So it's all about, you know, I love the way they're just giving us information in different formats. We're all different learners. So, you know, how is it that it's going to speak to you? This is just one chart, again, with these childhood respiratory illnesses pointing out those main clues that you need to know for the test. Great way of reviewing the information, a great way of reinforcing the information that we already got. So I like those, um, and it allows me to, to study that way. Uh, then we go to the off the charts. Those are the answers to the pretest. So you want to know, did you learn what you didn't know before? And, and so this way I can just go through and you know, get the answers, and let's say um, on one of these things I get an answer wrong, I can just go right back to that interactive learning module and, uh, you know, just find what I want. So let's say it was about epiglottitis. I could just go right back here. So I like that. I like the fact that I can just click wherever I want, whenever I want with these things, you know, to find what I want. I could even just do this, find out what the answer is to the number six, if I was curious about that. So. 
that really helps a lot. Last thing is a quiz, just quick true or false, you know, so um, you just answer those as you go and you get a score at the end. And the true or false is great because, again, you know, for me personally, it just allows me to know that I know that or I don't know that. So now if I'm done with these little sections, I'm done with pulmonary, childhood, respiratory, I know that I can kind of check that off my list because I have it. Or if, if I'm one of these sections I'm not really comfortable, then what I'll do is I'll go back and it's really easy to find what I need. So let's say I wanted to go back to the interactive learning modules I talked about. And I had a list of things that I just, wow, I, I just don't remember. Let's say endocrinology. And boy, I'm having trouble with parathyroid. You know, these presentations are great because they just allow you the, to be able to just go right to what you need. So like I said, I'm having parathyroid trouble today. Let's say I go right to the blueprint. It's all broken down. Oh, parathyroid, hypoparathyroid. And uh, you can go right to hypoparathyroid from that point. Everything's here I need about hypoparathyroidism. And it just allows me to study so quickly because I can just get to exactly what I want. Um, now, if we go back to the DLT menu, uh, I can also go over the testing. So, fine, let's say I did all my pulmonary we talked about and I'm done. Do I know pulmonary or not? I got to test myself. So, I can just grab whatever testing I need and just get it right here. You know, so. I'm going to go through and I want to know all about pulmonary because I'm in pulmonary and cram cards. So these are great. What about all the associations that you guys know we need to know? And, you know, so I'm trying to get my test down. I want to make sure I know all these key associations. Do I remember what the acute bronchiolitis cause is? Oh, there it is. You know, do I remember how to diagnose RSV? Uh, whatever it is, you know, I can just rip through these and really make sure that I know that I have all those key associations I need. And that makes me feel good going into my test. Um, I could take those same questions in a scored format, which is the true or false. That's really great and, and easy to deal with. And then, uh, you know, if I want to do those off the charts questions again, what about, uh, you know, looking at all the stuff? Well, I can just do pulmonary hypertension if that's what I want to do. And I can just ask the question, do I know this or not? Do I know what they're asking me? And if not, I can just go back, like I said, and just grab it. So I love that because it just lets me test myself. Hey, do I know this? or I don't know it, and then I know where to get the information. You could do a mock exam or a reviewer scored, and you know what, I'm actually going to get out of the DLT right now because I want to show you the cool testing and uh, and how it works because uh, that's really cool about this too. There's 4,800 questions total. There's more than that actually, I think, like almost 5,000. It's great because um, I can test whatever I want. So let's say I want to do cram cards just on everything, not just pulmonary like I showed you. I can choose it from anything I want. And that, that to me is so important. I can just do those off the charts questions by, you know, anything I want. So if I'm really hooked on hematology today, I can just do hematology and everything. I can even see those charts that we talked about, those section synopsis charts, where it gives you that all the information you need to know and like those review charts uh, for each section. And I could just do it for I, you know, whatever it is. And, uh, and that's really nice. Just pick, oh, here's, here's all the eye charts, you know. So that I definitely like too. It really helps me to focus uh, my study for what I need to do today. But when it comes to the actual pants barrier questions, um, there's four different formats, and that's really kind of different. I haven't seen anyone else who does it this way, so I really like it because, you know, I could do it by learning system. And so learning by system means, first of all, by system. So I'll just grab what I want today. You know, I'm really having trouble in uh, cardiology today. That's what I'm going to pick. You know, I'll just grab cardiology if that's what I'm worried about. And then once I get into the system, uh, it's really good because, first of all, it has an index. So that means that um, I can just pick what I want. I don't have to. If I go through it once, I can always go back later and just pick what I want. And uh, so let's say I wanted to go back and I just want to see question number one. And then I just click what I want and I click submit. And the cool thing here is that I can see whether I got it right or wrong. I can see which were the distractors, which was the answer. And then if I read down here, there's a full explanation. So it tells me like, hey, you should have known this about the keys. Hey, this is why that's a distractor. Did you know that's why this is the answer? That really helps me to understand if I do get something wrong so I can figure it out. It also helps me figure out how to deal with these type of questions from the pants pantry because that way, you know, you're more prepared when you go into your exam. Now, you could do the same thing scored by system. It's exactly the same way. It gives you the same thing, full explanation, etc. but it gives you a score. So if I want to see in cardiology, if I have a 64 or an 85, I could do it that way. And then you could do a mock test, and there's two different mock tests. You know, one of them is review, and what that is is um, it's broken down. So you guys know that when we have to take our test, you know, if you're a pantry like me, you got to take 240. That's four of these 60 section, 60 question blocks. If you're a pants, you got to take five of these 60 question blocks. So these are broken down just like the real test. So it's like 16% cardiology and 12% pulmonary and 10% ortho and everything else. 
And so all you have to do is you go through and you're just taking it like a real test, right? And so, oh, I got it wrong, but look what it tells me. It tells me the entire answer right there of why I don't have to go back and then look for more answers. And I like that. And when I'm done, I get a score and then I know. But in the real world, I'm going to have to do it time. So this is the other thing I think is really cool. I can also go in and take the same type of tests. There's 60 questions again. They're broken down by, you know, 16% cardio, et cetera. So it's like really like a real pants. But I like this because in this case, you know, it's not it's not going to give me the answer. I'm just going through just like I'm taking a real test. And up here, there's my clock. And so that helps me to practice my timing, which is really important to succeed uh, without a doubt. Um, the last thing that's really cool about this review and just kind of an extra bonus, but it's a big bonus. You know, the F.A. Davis PA exam review is a really popular book. A lot of people have it. It's like $50 to buy the book. But this is included in the system, and they don't charge you any extra for it. And you just go through all the modules. So there's a lot of questions here that you can do, um, you know, however you want to go through the information. It's really interesting the way the books is put together. And what they did was they actually put it together uh, and related the different questions. So in the book, you got to flip back and forth a lot. In this case, everything's right where you need it. So it's just right there. There's a full menu. Uh, and then you just, these have more than one answers. They're kind of tough. So more than one. So you click whatever you think. And then you click it. You say, oh, boy, I was wrong there. And these were right. Okay. But what's the point? This gives you the answer. So, I, you know, I really like this too because it gives me the book and it's so easy to click through the book, much easier than it is to actually do it. Um, some of the other things that are really nice about this site, they offer a, um, a full EKG course on here, help for EKG. It's like a whole course. You just get it free. Um, and then notes, uh, you know, you could take notes, which is good, but there's full notes pages. So if I was doing cardiology today, whether it was the design learning track or it was the, you know, uh, it was the interactive learning module, whatever, you can just print these notes out and it goes right by the whole system, right in the review of each one of these little subsections. So if you're doing congenital heart disorders, here's your notes for that section. You can write the notes you want. You click, hey, I got it. I'm done with this. Uh, boy, I better go back and study it, whatever. So that's also, you know, a great help. So so I hope this guy helps you guys understand, you know, what this site is like and some of the reasons why, you know, I really believe uh, for me personally, this is the greatest thing and so easy to run through and just makes studying just so easy. Uh, everything's right where I need it and everything is covered.